So I don't believe in umbrellas being bad luck. I'm not sure where that comes from. Well, I was a fiddler. As a child, I was a fiddler. I would take things apart, put them back together again, make, make things interesting things. And it's enabled us to survive because niche markets is where the vast majority of small manufacturers are in. And if you can't adapt to new markets quickly, then you, you, may, you, you struggle. I started um, in this trade in 1983, although I've been up and down through the school holidays since I was probably seven or eight. We are the Cinderella accessory, and it's so true. Shoes, you think of all sorts of people, handbags, all sorts of people, even scarves. I mean, there's just designers, there are names who are attached to these products. Umbrellas, we're a little bit left behind. In the 1950s, the Germans, looking for opportunities, got busy with re re reworking clothing industry machines for attaching umbrellas together. The essentially two qualities that an umbrella needs to be, to be a quality umbrella. It needs a fairly taut canopy to resist, resist the wind. And the second thing is quality of thread, quality of attachment is so important because if the thread gives out and one of the tips, the rib ends, gives out, then the rest of the structure is under strain. Look after it, keep it out of the wind, and it, it should last you 10 to 20 years. I don't see why I'm still using. I've got friends who are using our umbrellas that we made for them in 1985. So 32 years, is that a good investment? They probably got it for free, but hey. The Dorman's umbrella you mentioned is probably the oldest style of umbrella that we still make. We've probably been making that for about 140 years. The Ritz, Claridge's, Browns, the list is, is quite long of, of, of five star hotels that we've supplied with Dorman's umbrellas. Small market, niche market, and they're not cheap. <laughs> I think if umbrellas were unlucky, then a divine intervention has happened because six generations in the same trade can't... must be doing something right.